Before the break, we told you about the beginning of Raj Rajaratnam's criminal trial here in Manhattan. For more now on the biggest insider trading trial on Wall Street in a generation, let's bring in Harvey Pitt, founder and chief executive of Colorama Partners and former chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. He joins us now from our Washington Bureau. Harvey, welcome back to Bottom Line. Always good to have you on. Good to be with you, Mark. Harvey, uh, Harvey who's the ideal juror in this case from both the prosecution and the defense standpoint? I think from the prosecution standpoint, they're looking for people who uh, are in middle or lower economic strata and people who have had to uh, work hard for everything they have and who follow all the rules. From the defense side, um, I think they want sophisticated, um, wealthier uh, individuals who uh, will not see all issues as either clear or um, uh, certain, but see shades of gray. Great. Uh, Harvey, what is at stake for both sides here? What is at stake for the federal government and what is at stake for the defense, for the hedge fund industry? I think for the uh, prosecution, uh, the real issue is can they, uh, when put to their uh, uh, proof, demonstrate clear and convincingly that uh, the defendant here cheated and uh, misused information he wasn't entitled to. The failure to do that will create more incentives on the part of people to believe that the government uh, can't really fulfill its uh, requirements and the key in this case I think are the wiretaps that have been referred to repeatedly from the hedge fund industry side I think win or lose in terms of the defendant the hedge fund industry is acclimating itself to a new environment of much heavier scrutiny greater regulation and the need for more compliance efforts to make sure that they aren't burned by this kind of event themselves harvey those compliance efforts that you speak up the new rules financial regulations are they enough to dissuade people from doing the kind of acts that are alleged in this case? Unfortunately, Mark, I think the answer is no. When uh, economic times are hard and uh, it's difficult to make money, people are always going to look for shortcuts. Not all people, fortunately, but some people. Um, and just as we can't control, for example, crimes of passion by life sentences or even execution, um, the fear of getting caught only uh, provides a modest disincentive. Uh, when people are caught, they really have to be punished and uh, be made a spectacle of so that others will not be tempted. Harvey, Mr. Roger Rotnam has vehemently denied any wrongdoing, and he has argued that investment advisors routinely speak to company insiders as they do research. Is that something that you think will resonate with the jury? Uh, it could, but I think again here, Mark, the issue is what is on those uh, wiretaps and what are the tapes showing. Uh, there's a real difference between going in and talking to someone and getting a general feel for how business is progressing. It's a lot different if you get a tip from somebody in the know who tells you, now's the time to buy, we're about to have a huge loss or we have a big transaction coming up. Mm -hmm. Harvey, in, in our last minute, uh, the judge in this case, what is the judge's charge to the jury once that panel is seated? The judge will tell them, as, as he has in the voir dire uh, beginning, uh, don't uh, uh, confuse this case with anything other than whether this particular defendant was given information he shouldn't have had and cheated by using that information for his own profit. All right, Harvey Pitt, former chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, now with Colorama Partners in Washington. Harvey, always good to have you on. Thanks so much for your input. Thank you, Mark.